Hi friends, Living Fit with Laura. On this extremely beautiful, very, very snowy day. The snow is quite deep, but we continue moving forward through those things that lie ahead. Putting behind us those things that lie behind. I've got my snow boots on, my really warm ones. No excuses, we get our exercise. We must continue moving forward to those things that lie ahead. Let's say the daily prayer with me as we do every day. Lord, I will not live in want today. I will not criticize, curse, compare, or condemn my life. How do we do that? By complaining, by comparing ourselves to others. When we compare ourselves to others, it's pretty ridiculous because why do we want another person's life? Criticizing ourselves, even in within our thoughts, if we don't verbalize it, we are condemning and demeaning ourselves, and we must stop doing that. It's very easy to do. These are all human traits that I talk about. We, we decide ahead of time not to do that. We get our eyes off ourselves. Most mental health professionals and behaviorists, blah, 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 Encourage the person to focus on self and focus on feel feelings. How did that feel? How'd you feel about that? How'd you feel about that? Mm -hmm. Listen, our feelings come and go. Our feelings change. What we focus on is our beliefs, our habits. Who do we worship? And as I've told my friends, all of us have a savior. Many of us, our savior is ourselves, our, what we see as problems, we moan and groan, we focus on ourselves, we focus on what we see as problems, and we are as small children in this world. I would like to encourage my friends not to do that. All of us have a savior. You might not want to admit it. Many of you worship yourselves, worship your pain, worship um, being a victim, worship blaming someone else. Only we can decide to live well, and I'll tell you how we do that. We live well by enjoying life. Look at Daisy, she's rolling in the snow. We live well by realizing life is sacred. I'm not minimizing or dismissing really, really horrible life situations, the loss of a job, the death of a loved one, domestic violence, emotional abuse by someone that you trust. Those are all very, very real things. I have experienced many, many challenges and major transitions, job layoffs, uh, being um, very uh, disillusioned by the fact that people are just human and we cannot worship or trust people. That sounds cold, but it's very true. When we worship or trust people, we are a slave to our expectations and we are relying on them. We are only to rely on our living Savior. So let's say the Lord's Prayer with me today and get on with our day. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. The words to the Lord's Prayer are very, very powerful. When we say them, we think about what we're saying. Hallowed be thy name, holy. We don't revere anything or anyone else as holy. We walk hand in hand with our Savior, that creator who created us, who created the heavens and the earth. We never, never, never worship people places or circumstance, because then when things change, when people just show themselves to be human, we are derailed and we fall flat on our face. But uh, when, when that happens, what do we do? We do a backflip, get up, and with that momentum, use that momentum from that disappointment to move forward with purpose. We move forward with purpose. We focus on the beauty, not on the garbage. Our lives consists, mainly consist of our thoughts. We live in our heads. So if we keep mumbling, groan, moaning, groaning, and complaining in our heads, 
we will not have a quality life. Whenever I have a really bad day, I take, do inventory and I realize that I'm comparing my life to what I think it should be. I'm comparing my life to other people. And I am mumbling and groaning and moaning and regurgitating past trauma. And it just sinks me down into quicksand. Uh, we must not do that. And when it happens, which it will, because we are human, we take a step back and we notice it. And then we move forward. We forgive ourselves and we forgive others and we move forward. Steadfast joy is permanent. Steadfast joy comes from that God, that Savior who created us. Happiness is fleeting. Happiness is dependent on circumstance. So we always have steadfast joy. We always have the peace that passes all understanding. Look at this beautiful, beautiful day. Living fit with Laura, just wanted to encourage us to know that the peace that passes all understanding is available to us all the time. It's not found in a church. I'm not talking about churchianity, my friends. I'm talking about walking hand in hand with our living and loving God. His name is Christ Jesus. He is our Savior. Please don't let your problems be a, your Savior. Do not let other people be your Savior. Do not let people, places, or circumstance be your Savior because you, are, you will be as a leaf flowing around, blowing around in the wind. We want to build our house on a rock. So living fit with Laura on this very snowy day, I'm gonna finish my exercise. I'm going to have a shower, a healthy breakfast, put on a tiny bit of makeup and then look cute. Have an awesome day with me, getting and staying, staying stable, serene and strong. I'm proud of you, keep it up.